Satsuti no Irasagami, president of the European Buddha Society. And here on my right side, I have my dojo cho, Oscar Monsalve, in that he is right now preparing his sensei graduation. We are here recording my eighth contribution to my experience series uh, here in Valencia, Spain. And in that series, in those series, sorry, I am uh, uh, helping to, to know what are my, the things that I, that I feel more alike with the bouquet and some specific details about our tradition, about our knowledge that try to contribute with your, uh, your knowledge about the school and what is the work that we are doing. Today we are discussing, Oscar San and, and I, with, uh, regarding Bujutsu practice and we are explaining some characteristics of our tradition that uh, are explained in the Chuden uh, Makimono, the Chuden document. Then we have here what is the one of the two documents regarding Bujutsu, concerning Bujutsu that we have in our Eigen Makimono tradition. Here we have, uh, for, for you to know, Chuden Bujutsu no So, that is the document for Bujutsu, the art of war, in under Chuden perspective, is to say the inner traditions perspective. Uh, for you to know, this, do, uh, this traditional document, it's a way where the all, where the formation, the, the continuous of the subject are, are explained or are written in order to be known. Then, from here, we have been explaining in other in uh, series this um, uh, Makimono in order to be read. I am putting at the side of the camera in order to, to when you watch this video, see the kanji in the proper position, then for me are the reverse side. Then, when we are opening, I have explained in other as I have said in other video, all the information uh, at this side, on the right side, that is the, the start side to be read. And right here we have Kyujutsu and several concepts, Ichiban, uh, Keiko, etc. Today I want to explain you regarding this part, Hasa no uh, Dosa. Hasa means to fire, to suck in Japanese, and dosa means movement, is the, the movements of firing with the, with the bow. But in this case, we have to understand that it's an emphasis on bujutsu, the, is to say, the emphasis on the art of war. And when we are in the art of war, uh, things tense a little from a kyujutsu way. First of all, we have to explain that our tradition is not an archery school, as other schools, Ogasawara Ryu, Heiki Ryu, etc. Uh, we are dealing with, or, or tradition is a buge school and the, um, the use of the bow it's more for uh, defense purpose or as a casual weapon and not for a main weapon itself. Then, uh, Bujutsu have some specific details or how to be employed in our tradition. First of all, we have to remember that for the purest people, that uh, as we try to be pure, the season tradition, the season bow is more close to the Aino uh, bow, and this means that it's a symmetric bow. Then, uh, when the season uh, mix with the Japanese, they be forced in the Edo period to be mixed with the Japanese, they start to use and employ the long bow, the classical yumi, Japanese yumi. But for war purpose, always was used something more, uh, more uh, close to the idea of what it's a hankyu, a middle bow. And we are dealing in that case about what, it's, uh, what is the, the typical bow of, of employing. I have here, a uh, classical document too. This is not linked to our tradition, but it's a good example. Thank you, Oscar San. It's a good example. Also, I will open it for you. This is a. Uh, this is from the uh, from the from the 
uh, uh, from Sidosi and he is uh, leaving this document in order to support the, that information that we have. In that document, one of the first images or illustrations that we have here, it's this. As you could see closely, we have a typical, uh, or a, 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 you mean that it's more near to a um, middle, uh, middle bow, and it's uh, written here, oh, Han Q. As you could see the furigana here also, this is Han, it's from middle, hush, and hush. this Q is from Yumi, it's oh. the middle bow. Then this was uh, explained for also war concepts. Hush, hush. The next thing that I want to, to focus right now is that in war, when the season starts to be mixed with the Japanese, uh, they also employ for war purpose, of course, as I have explained, our school is not an archery school, and we use several weapons. Then, one of the typical ways to, to drive, the typical ways to, to have different weapons with you, is to use a katana and at the same time employing the yumi. Then, for that reason, they, uh, they uh, have a special way to place the katana when they are after running and they are ready to fire. Uh, this is not uh, an, uh, this is not uh, something where the Japanese itself they used to have this circumstance. In this uh, in this book from Stephen Turnbull, we could see, for example, an illustration right now here that I have prepared for you that uh, a samurai dressed with the armor, with the yoroi, that we have the yumi in his left hand, and at the same time, he has the daito in the, in the left side of the obi, as it, could be, it couldn't be in other way. Uh, and it's an example that they have to, to fire in this kind of circumstance in bujutsu idea. We have also a picture here, in the other side of, the, of this, of this uh, book, that we have here this circumstance uh, uh, in the same way. We have here, as you could see, we have here the uh, Daito, and here we have the Yumi uh, from a dressed samurai. Then, uh, one of the most struggles that we need to have in mind, thank you, Oscar Sam, is how we could fire in a side position when we have the handle of the katana, uh, putting, uh, how to say, uh, being difficult to fire, okay? Because you need the tension on the uh, on the string. You have to move in a in a movement, and this is difficult uh, to do it. Then the first thing that we have to understand, as we have seen, first of all, for war purpose, we have the katana in the reverse side. We don't have with the with the with the edge up. We have the edge down, and from this circumstance, the first thing when we are running, of course, always uh, protecting our weapons from not being uh, a struggle by the by the obstacles that we have around, because maybe we have to run in the forest, etc. Then the first thing what we will do when we set in a place, when we set the position, it's to put to place this part to the side under what is my my cosita. Here I put at this height. Circumstance in order to be blocked completely. And from here we have the same can at this side. Okay? After this, what we are gonna do is the following. We have the Yumi close here, okay? And the ya, we have different ways to place it around in order to be fired. One way is to put it on my backside, that it's called uh, koshiya. Koshiya is to uh, put the arrows in your, in, your, in your hips. In this way, that is ushiro, we have the problem that when we are running or maybe hiding from the, from the enemy, we have the, the, the struggle to be also 
uh, blocked by any obstacle around. Then the most, the way in order to be protected in a in a uh, in a circumstance of war, in a circumstance where you need to run, okay, not in a place that you are maybe set as an uh, as a as a bowman. So when you are using to run, to fire, to go away, etc., you put the koshiya in the front side. And from here, inside the himo, inside the hakama, we you place the arrows and go in to that left side. And you have here on your front side, and this is not obstacle for firing. Then from this circumstance. When you are going to fire, it's very important in order not only looking the target but also looking the obstacles around. Because if you only are focused on the target, you will be lost by the target. You will be captured by the target. But you need to look around where are the trees, where are the places to, to hide, where are the place, places to be covered by, uh, by the environment to the Kankyo in order to defend. Then from this circumstance we have the position, we have set this in order to, as we explain, the way to have a strong base, in order to have this strong base to be, uh, to be stable because you have the elements like wind, etc. and you need, or it, the, the ground could be slidey or um, uh, you could fall. Then for Has this, it. you place, of course, you place the ya in the proper side of the yumi, here, okay? Right now, go up, move a little forward, and after, put, and fire. From this, of course, you could fire one, two, three, it doesn't matter. Uh, how much uh, arrows you fire, but after this, of course, you will leave the bow, you have uh, fired all, all, uh, all, all the arrows, and right now, you go up, and of course, you could chance, take out, and prepare for uh, fighting with, the, with, the, with your sword. Hashtag. Then, here we have uh, a special ideas that it's very very important to be known about the koshiya, about the way of employing this kind of, of bow, that is the hand you need, of course, and uh, having at the same time the shinken. And this, having employed the makimono or makimono, this is one important uh, perspective under the bujutsu for kyujutsu uh, subject. Hashiroshi. Then I hope you have enjoyed. We have solved some doubts around that you could have regarding Bujutsu and Kyujutsu. And thank you very much for the attention and keep, uh, as you have been doing always, following us, uh, uh, messaging us, emailing us. Uh, and thank you very much for the support.